Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to create some basic reports for change management. These reports can be used to pull changes of your team which are assigned to them or which they are working on and it will be pretty basic. As a manager, you will be able to get an overview of what they are working on or what's planned. In this video, we will be creating these three reports. The first one is list of changes which are assigned to an assignment group or my group. So we can take out report on that. So let's quickly jump to service now and see how can we do that. I'm in service now and I'm trying to create a new report. I can say change report. And the table which is used to store the changes is called change underscore request table. So I will search for that table and I will click on this and I will click on next. Then you can choose the type of report which you want to see automatically it is selected as list. If you want to learn more about reporting in detail and have a deep knowledge on that, please click on the top right corner. So now we are able to see changes and there are around 100 changes which are out of the box. And now I want to see the changes which are assigned to my team or to a specific team. So what I can do is I can say assignment group is network. So all the changes which are assigned to the network team will come up here. I'll just quickly save this report. And I'll come here and see there are around 19 changes which are assigned to the network team. And let me bring the assignment group field as well on this report. I'll choose columns and I'll just add this column and click OK and run this report. And now we can see all the changes which are assigned to the network group are coming up here. Now if you want to see all the changes which are assigned to your group which you are part of. So instead of selecting is here, you can say is dynamic and maybe one of my groups. Then whichever part of group you are, I'm currently logged in as system administrator. So whatever group he's part of, all the changes will be shown here. So right now there are no groups he's assigned to. So there are no changes coming up, but you can use this functionality. The second report which I want to see is what are the planned changes? Okay, so if there are any changes going next month or maybe after two months, so I can see those changes as well in this report. Let's quickly see this as well. Here I can select planned start date. So this is a field which stores the planned start date of a change. So it is usually in future. I can say at or after and then a particular date can be selected here. So for example, I want to select changes which are in December and after that I can select this date and this condition. So any changes which have planned start date after 1st of December 2022, all those changes will come up here. Right now in my report, nothing will come up here because these are all out of the box changes. Let me quickly check if something comes up. Okay, there is nothing. What we can do is we can take a change and change the planned start of that quickly. I'll just randomly select this one and I'll go down and here there is no planned start change date. I will just select it as maybe 9th and I will save this. And the number of this change is ending with 007. I will run the report again and I should see one change. So this is one change which is scheduled in December and that is why it is appearing here. Similarly, if you want to find out changes for your own team, then you can put an end condition and then maybe put your assignment group here and maybe the network team if you are part of network team. So the changes which are happening in December and are assigned to network group will come up. And finally, moving on to the last report, which is close changes. Okay, if you want to now find close changes, you can go here and just remove this and put the status. So state is closed. And I will save this and all the changes which are closed in your system will come up here. So there are around 10 changes which have been closed and are in closed status. And again, if you want to pull out report of your assignment group you can do it again here 
by selecting the assignment group as network and I will save this and you will be able to see there are seven changes which have been closed by your network team. So these are the three reports um, which are very very basic and useful for you as a project manager to see all the changes which are assigned to your team or are planned in future. Since you have stuck around this long, I will share a bonus fact with you. There is a field called close state and here you can find all the changes which were unsuccessful. This is very very important as a project manager to see all the unsuccessful changes because you will have to find why did they happen and in future they shouldn't happen right. So this is also a very important report. So in out of the box system there is only one change which was unsuccessful and you can see it here and you can pull out report for your team for pass of the changes which were unsuccessful. You can see the notes and then you can find out why it was unsuccessful and it shouldn't happen in future as well. I hope this video was helpful to you. Let me know in comment if there are any questions and don't forget to subscribe this channel and like this video. Thank you.